I love it when a plan comes together, but I hate it when a plan fails. <laughs> he ain't come out of them sunflowers yet. I don't know what he's thinking about. I'd be willing to bet a dollar to a hot pig turd he went right through them sunflowers into those oak ridges and down that face. <sighs> He'll probably stay in there all day. Won't be able to get him out of there. Not without a forest fire or artillery barrage. Oh well. That's why they call it hunting. Not kidding. And the winds are coming up a little more. We've been having variable wind speeds from 8 to 12, and now it's starting to jump up to about 15 on a steady blow. <sighs> Might be time to put long-range unit back in the box and drag out the AR and just see if I can get an encounter up close and personal. Getting awful warm. I'll be staying in the shade now. Well, anyway, it's still fun. It's still gorgeous weather, and it's still a beautiful sight up here on this hilltop. Again, I'm extremely thankful that I have good friends that allow me to share in the wonderful blessings they have in their lives. Well, I guess I'll go look around, see if I can find one somewhere else. May have to get off into the woods now. Gets this time of day, you won't see them in the open much. May have to get off into the woods. And when I say the woods, here's what I'm talking about. Not them woods in the front of the frame. Them big old riverine cottonwoods in the back. That's another one of the farms. Now you're looking at about 2,700 yards from here. And that's a whole lot of woods. And a lot of room for them hoggies to run in. Whew. Take you three days to walk around and all that. <laughs> yep, we'll go try them. I need me a GoPro mounted on my gun. I get into a protracted gun shooting session at Hogs. I ain't gonna have time to run a camera and a gun. I think I'll go to town and get me a GoPro. All right, well that's what we're doing. Anyway, more to come in the Labor Day extravaganza, if you can call it that. <laughs> All righty. Get down here in the woods. Where you at, little piggy piggy? We gotta check this line. Roll over here and check one of the spots we normally find them in. Yeah, we normally find them in there usually because of the fact that we're usually dumping a lot of stinky sweet corn in there and they just love the hell out of that. Nothing over in there yet.
old mining camp. Back when he used to mine for platinum out here. <laughs> Believe that shit. Actually, we're just going down here to check stock tanks, but it's always a good opportunity to maybe see something. Normally what we see is cows, but, you know, never can tell. See if we can maybe see anything messing around in there. Quite possible. They like to come around down there quite a bit. Of course, that's, <laughs> that's the spot where we usually throw a bunch of corn out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't build it though. Belongs to a good buddy of mine. He's a good hog shooting partner. He's very dedicated, very dedicated to farm life and taking care of pestilence type critters such as hogs. Hoping I might see some run out in front of me. Tell you what, if we don't get some critter action real quick, I'm gonna have to go buy some tannerite and just set it up so we can have something exciting. Oh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Have a way that you could have tannerite sitting there in its separate components, waiting on the hogs to show up, and when they did show up, then you could just let the components mix. And Probably while the feeder was grinding the corn. <laughs> and when you got a big crowd around it, just wham. I ain't done that yet. I'm kind of thinking I want to do that someday. I could come up with a way to do that. Hill. What was that? Go here and check the water tanks. Make sure the girls got plenty of water. Eh, looks like they could use a little bit. I guess better turn it on. Be right back. Alrighty. Well, we got stock tanks full. Or at least running on full. Let's go over here and check the bait spot. See if there might be a little piggy. Sitting out there rolling in the mud. We ain't put any bait in it in months. But it's a nice little slough that stays wet for most of the summer. Really good place to sneak up on them. Let's give it a shot. I 
Hey, it looks like it might be getting pretty close to dry. Kind of weird. We've had some good rain, but ah, I see some water. I think I see some water. Might be shade and swamp grass. Who knows? And the pig shooting Hilton. Or as I like to term it, Shea JD Hana. <laughs> That's Indian talk for those of you who don't understand or won't translate. One day you will understand. Hmm. Get out here and look in some of this mud and see if we've had any activity. to see some cow track some mud torn up by the cows they're big old 1200 pound bodies coming ripping through here okay There may be a little pig activity right there. See the slope of some skin right there in the mud. There is definitely a pig getting in there and kind of wallering down in it, pushing the mud out of the way. You can see the smaller tracks that are in it. push a little mud and then there's a, another spot right there at the end of that log that's some hog waller activity but not very big ones nothing really big just a couple of or one loner Probably a young boar, been pushed out of a troop, now he's just kind of running around looking to start his own place. see much fresh trackage though or spore so. we still don't have much activity look at there a completely intact tortoise shell bottom and top and nobody's home <laughs> in pretty good shape I know somebody would like to have that and I think I'll shoot her a text and then to pass her and say hey look what I got you <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find in the woods 
you just don't never know. <laughs> Alright, let's go look around somewhere else. Lord knows what else we're going to find. There's quite a commotion down there. I love a girl that can do that and not freak completely out. <laughs> what are you standing in? I don't care. <laughs> Grass. Grass and water. <laughs> it's been processed. Good to go for right now, right? I think so. Awesome. All right. Well, here's hoping we kill some doves. <laughs> we probably set up right about here. Kind of in the gap of them. Tell you what, we might move back off this fence just a little. Okay. Right, right here would be a good spot. Do you want me to hold your rifle? You hold my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> if I brought a rifle, I'm in trouble. <laughs> shotgun, rifle. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. All righty. All we need now is doves, right? <laughs> Something to kill. Oh. Nope, those are starlings. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> it seems like a lot that <clears throat> a lot of the flight though has been from east to west. Cutting along on that south wind. Got a little easterly to it, I think. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. So, Wendy, can you beat this for a Labor Day morning? No. There you go. The only thing you make it better is if we had a buttload of doves come in and make us burn a box of shells every 15 minutes, right? <laughs> Don't get covered up pretty quick. May have to do this Central Texas style. That's where you just get in the back of the truck and I drive around <laughs> through the grass. 
And when they jump up, you nail them. It is nice. It is nice. I'm, I'm kind of happy we got a little wind. Yes. Because <laughs> it, what was it, 94, 96 percent humidity? Yes. Yeah, this wouldn't be any fun without a little bit of breeze. It'd be, well, it was sticky when I walked out of the house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get to shoot mockingbirds, do we? No. <laughs> birds. Damn old mockingbirds. Dragonfly popped over that cedar. It's like that. <laughs> I haven't hunted doves, like I said, 30, 35 years. So, kind of, if I get a little spaz, it's just because it's been a while, you know. That bull's still standing over on the other end, going, "What'd you guys go for?" He's acting like he don't know how to get over to the other side. But he likes hanging close on that end because there's girls over there he ain't met yet. And he wants to meet them. Dragonfly. Okay, <laughs> I told you, I'm going to be a little spastic for a while, all right? That's okay. Want some crackers? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's not a heavy possibility. It's a light possibility that I might shoot a dragonfly just by accident. <laughs> I didn't see anything flying over the sunflower, so they probably still doing their morning watering thing. Check and see what time it is. Just 8 12. Yeah, they're not on the clock for another half hour. And, you know. If you see one coming in, it's okay to yell, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think that cow's broken. <laughs> well, the bull's down there, so I don't know what her problem is. <laughs> Maybe she ate a few too many sand burrs. <laughs> she got no low tone, it's all just high. <laughs> We're ready for doves anytime. On your mark, <laughs> get set. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it. Watch me, I'll be screwing around here and one will fly in front of me and I'll have safety on. <laughs> I 
I'm amazed at how nice it feels with that breeze. <laughs> yeah. When I went out and fed and watered the chickens this morning, I thought, ooh, this is going to be sticky, nasty. Yeah, I was kind of a fear to that. I was thinking about, I really wanted to start out over on Renfro at a different spot, closer to a little pond over there, well, where we where we were at when I shot that coyote. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tested Amanda, and I said, you know, we're going to be dove hunting. She said, okay, just don't wake me up. <laughs> I texted her back and said, what time you get up? <laughs> I normally sleep till about nine on my weekday off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plan B. Yep. We're moving down around that tree, that tree line, the dead trees. Yeah. You have dragonflies. I didn't flinch on that one, but I come close. <laughs> I almost grabbed a fishing pole or two. <laughs> Make a multi-sport trip out of it. Right. Make the most out of it. <laughs> By God. It'd be your luck. You sitting there waiting on doves come in, you throw a pole out there and be catching a big fish and then you just get covered up with doves. Right. Fight the fish or shoot the doves, girl. Get a shirt. Fight the fish, shoot the dove, call in the turkey. Call that turkey. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Nothing flying over them so far. Now we wait on more dives. We might have to top these a little. <laughs> I gotta back up. <laughs> I got down in a hole. She's a friendly one. Come on. Yeah, they just think we're here to give them something. <laughs> About that wide. Shit. You ready? He's wounded. Yep, right behind us. It looked like I bumped one. Yeah. One of the the other two lit. Those are killed. The other two lit on that wire over there, so they may be doing some circling. And another one is circling around to the left. I think we found Ooh. a <laughs> Oops. You ejected on me. I did. How dare I? Oh, yeah, I liked it. It was kind of fun. <laughs> kind of hit me right up here on the chest. This bump. I told you, you want to kill does, come to the marijuana patch. <laughs> okay. You know, we don't have to walk very far. No. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad. Not bad for not ever shooting that gun before. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go get him. Keep me covered. <laughs> I got you covered. Covered in the jungle. 
Damn right, it could be a tiger in here. Huh? I did? Oh! I thought he was about 10 yards further out. That's uh, killed the isn't it? Wanna hold a headless dove? And see that's the morning dove, thin tail that can split. Mm, yeah. And man, <laughs> it moves them. Alright. Sweet. I had to hit him in the head because at that range, I'd have blown him apart. <laughs> <laughs> he was just slow rolling. <laughs> I think it's a kill to be on the wire. Yeah, well, hell, I don't know. That's got to be a kill to. Yeah, it's a kill to. That's what's nice about hunting around places where Kildee lives. Kildee's flying in the air look like other doves and does come to them. Oh. And this feedlot right here has got a lot of their natural feed, these natural grasses yeah. right here. All right. Got the missus out of my gun. That's right. Took me five rounds, but I got the missus out of my gun. Nice little shady spot. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. Breezy. Got some weeds to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> Got a water tank right over there. Kill these live in the area, so they draw them. Shoot, yeah. That's when they do start giving you another lesson on this stuff, and they'll come flying in again. <laughs> Gets me those sitting here using a shotgun that's capable of holding five shells. But when you hunt doves, you can only have three shells in your gun. Oh. So I had to put a plug in it. Did the one that you, did you think you had one fall? I didn't see him fall, but he. Yeah. Like he might have got a little charge on him. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could walk right around there. It was just on the other side of this. Well, there was three birds, right? I counted five. Okay. <laughs> I counted five. There was three and then two came around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there was three coming from this way and then two joined. Okay. But I and heard that one hit. Yeah. Cool. Well, I didn't see any go down until I shot him yeah. and he crumpled out. And that's a that's a nice size morning dove. And he's got that orange on his breast. Kinda. Oh yeah. So he's he's northern. Northern. But he might very well be local. But a lot of times the smaller local doves that are born here and then go south mm -hmm. don't have much of an orange tint. The ones that come from up north, but they could be breeding here now. Used to forty years ago. If he had that orange tint, he was northern from Nebraska or South Dakota or Kansas or someplace. 
Okay, watch the sky. I'm gonna go grab a plastic bag in the ice chest. Okay. Want to lesson in how to clean dove? You pluck their feathers, don't you? That's too much work. Oh. Got Gatorade in there too. <laughs> Alrighty then. The easiest way. You need your pocket knife. You need to be fairly sharp. Okay. And just grab a wing. Hold the torso, hear it snap, and then you will need to get rid of the breast, lower breast feather so you can see where you're going to cut, okay? Right here is the bottom of the breastplate. Take your knife and you don't poke it in, stab the guts. So just kind of hold the legs down like that. Put it right there where the edge goes under the plate. And just give it a starter until you feel the blade hit the ends of the thighs. That's all you got to do. Set it down. Keep hold of the legs and the tail. Just like this. Bring your thumb up under the breastplate. Keep it up. Keep this up against the back of the breastplate. Grab that. Make sure you got a good grip. And just be taking all that out of there. And you can leave the skin on if you want. It don't hurt it to be there. Or you, it'll literally, most times, it'll go ahead and just slide right off. And there's your breast. And there's a breast with only one pellet hole in it. So there's a lot of good eating there and no lead to chew wow. on. <laughs> See, I told you I shot him in the head. <laughs> you got that one little through and through yeah. right there. Now if you'll open that so I can rinse my hand off. Just to get them feathered. Thank you. That's good. I brought paper towels so I could use my overall leg. <laughs> if you'll pour just a little bit across the... Get that feather off. Okay, that's good. Nice catch. Kind of moisturizes it. Gets the little feathers and stuff off. Puts a little moisture on it. Just, just got to remember, don't eat the ice out of that one. <laughs> <laughs>
good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's some catfish bait. <laughs> yeah. What about catfish? It's good bird bait too. <laughs> <laughs>